Guys, welcome to Today in Tom Lee's Shop. This week at Tom Lee's. So you may have seen the last two videos I made and yeah, they were a little bit off of what I usually talk about. So we're back to normal now. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about what's going on, what's coming up. Gonna talk a little bit about TikTok as well. Um, and then that's gonna be it for this week. But first of all, let's have a look around the shop and see what's going on. I have done a few updates. If you'd seen my last two controversial videos, <laughs> people get triggered way too easy nowadays. Anyway, this is the coffee truck, finally. This is a King Kong CA30, it's a six by six. Look at these axles, they come pre-built, which is really, really nice because sometimes these can be, I, I mean, I love building stuff, but this has made it so much easier for me. Transfer case, where's the gearbox? Is the, oh, here's the gearbox. Gearbox in there. Here's your like your wheels, if they three piece wheels, nice. And then the chassis under there. In there is the wooden bed and I'm just waiting for the cab, like the front body. That's had to come from somewhere else because this CA30 wasn't in stock where I bought it from, but I managed to get the chassis and the, um, the rear bed and then the body's on the way. So that is coming up and that is the coffee truck build. If you're not aware what the coffee truck build is, last year, I think it was last year, I started using a buy me a coffee link where you can go on there and you can support the channel. I don't do memberships, I don't do Patreons and stuff, but there is that link where people can show their support and say thanks um, and buy me a coffee. But it's not just a money grab. A few people in the comments recently have thought, I just want to get money out of you. It's not what I want. What we're doing is we're building that truck. Everyone who supports that buy me a coffee is helping me build that truck has helped towards building that truck. Once it's done, I'm gonna do a video or two on it. We're gonna showcase it. And then I'm gonna try and sort out, it's very hard on YouTube and social media to sort out raffles and stuff or giveaways, really hard. But I'm gonna sort something out where I'm gonna raffle it off. All the money I make from it, not just all the profits, every single bit of money I make from raffling that off is gonna to go to charity and then the truck is gonna get given away to one of the supporters. So I'll leave a link in the description, you can get involved in that, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I've taken long enough just to get that truck, but that is something we're doing and that's an ongoing thing. Once we've done that, we'll move on and we'll think of something else to do. But, but the link to buy me a coffee is in the description. You really don't have to click it if you don't want to, you don't have to. You don't have to buy me a coffee. I'm just telling you what the coffee truck build is about. This is the new Rockatan from FTX. Not gonna, I'm not gonna take the body off just yet. I'm not sure how much of this I'm meant to be showing you, but that is the new chassis from FTX there that it's using. It's brushless, it comes with a 3S LiPo, I think. So it comes with it 99% ready to run. That's why I like FTX. They always supply you pretty much everything you need. A lot of people don't like the body on it. It actually looks better in the flesh, but I do see where people are coming from. It's not the greatest, but I'm hoping the performance will make you forget about that. The Skeeter was uh, the same, wasn't it? Body wasn't the greatest, but decent truck. The LCG build, the low center of gravity crawler build, nothing's really changed with the chassis, but I've made some really good progress with the body. This is a Blackfoot body. I've extended the back with some wood. I've still got a bit more trimming and um, stuff to do with that. I've got the grill on the front. We need to do again some trimming because that's going to obviously catch on the wheels but that's coming along hoping to get that done in the next few weeks video of that was out last week and maverick have just released some muscle cars i think they're on the same platform they look good so definitely going to get a muscle car on the channel got a video i'm going to do of them too a bit of a drifting one bought the paint for this that's a spare body there we're going to paint that doing a twin motor conversion and um, that's the fms that's the fms beetle managed to get hold of an ffo3 I need some bits from the chassis for the uh, ricer build, which is in there. And then underneath that is the uh, Reflex 14B from Team Associated. That is a brushless, a little 1 14th scale brushless. And the reason I've got that is because the new WL Toys uh, 14th scale brushless is on its way to me. So maybe we should look at them side by side. TikTok, well, before we get on TikTok, <laughs> this thing's awesome bit of an impulse buy, but it is really cool. Let's have a race. Hang on, let's have a race. Let's get them out of the way. Who's your money on? Lane three seems to be the quickest. But these little things here, when they hit them, it pops up some like um, shells and stuff like that. So they can stop. Right, anyway, check this out. Oh, who won? Lane two. Mario and Princess got stuck, look. Lane two was Luigi. Winner. That thing's so cool, my daughter's gonna love it. I've not, um, not shown her it yet. Anyway, let's finish this this week at Tom is off with TikTok. I've had a couple of TikTok channels in the past. So you might see some like um, 
redundant channels of mine if you go on there. And I know a lot of people don't like TikTok and probably a lot of you watching don't have TikTok. Um, but this is quite interesting. Well, I find this quite interesting. So I started from fresh at the beginning of February. I'll put the screen up now. As you can see, some of the videos on there have got millions of views. 1.5, 2.2, 1.3. When I put up like six days ago is on 1.2. I find it very easy on TikTok to get viral videos. So I class a viral video as over a million. We're up to 41,000 followers on there. And, and I think in the last 28 days, I've got 7.5 million views. But this is where that 7.5 million views doesn't sound so good. For example, on YouTube, if you get 7 million views, say in the last 28 days, I got 7 million views on this platform. On this platform, that would equate to, so you'd probably get around $30,000 for 7 million views on YouTube. Because so I'm gonna show you my revenue on TikTok in pounds. So that would be around 20,000 pounds for seven to seven and a half million views. That is how much I've made for seven and a half million views on TikTok. So if you're thinking about doing TikTok to become rich and famous, most people that are rich and famous on TikTok were rich and famous before they started TikTok. It is good fun and what it does do is gives you like a little morale boost if you put something up and you start getting loads of views and loads of interaction and comments. It does actually perk you up a little bit if you're feeling a bit crap. I don't recommend sitting watching it for hours and hours and hours because the time can just go and you're just watching more and more and more people doing stupid things. But, but if you've not tried TikTok, just start making some content. Some of my most popular videos on there have just been a quick five, six seconds of doing something random. Doing this, 1.2 million views, that's all I did. 1.2 million views. But then if you look at the other angle, it took me six or seven seconds to do that and I made enough money to buy myself a coffee. <laughs> I'd do 10 seconds of work for a free coffee. Anyway, on that bombshell, cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.